and welcome to The Great Escape. I'm Nick Knowles. Today we continue our whistle stop tour around the world. We go under canvas in Brittany and dig up the best advice from people who know all about it. Those who've been there, done it and bent the tent pegs. And on the menu today, perfect pancakes, the one pot cookery Breton style with food and wine writer Nick Hurt. We canvas camping expert Clive Tully for the ultimate tips on finding the perfect family tent. And Agony Aunt Barbara Jacobs comes up with a survival guide on how single parents can enjoy a real holiday break. It's real fun and games. And is it as easy as the manufacturers claim? Well, to put that to the test, we've called in the experts, the guides. And the largest one in the front there is in fact Clive Tully, our outdoors expert. Uh, how are you doing? Okay. What sort of test have we got then? Well, if you think going camping is likely to leave you suffering from tents and nervous headaches, boom boom, um, we're gonna, we've got a couple of tents out here which uh, the guides from Hall Green in Birmingham are going to demonstrate putting up. They're supposed to go up in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to start them off and uh, once we get going, I'm going to put my tent up as well. So you're ready, girls? King Cancun, King Cancun, watch out, King Cancun, King Cancun. see how they get on. <laughs> However, now, people with no help at all, our guides out in the gardens, let's see how they're getting on. Hi. Well, I think you've won, haven't you? Look at this, big enough to park a car in. Nice blue tent. Well, you got the, the things right. You managed to push the poles in in the right way because if you start pulling from the other end, the poles all pull apart. So you've got those in, it's pegged out. We do need an inner tent up in here, but at least we've got the thing up and we're sheltering from the rain, which is just, well, it's just started. So you're the winners. Well, I think they did extremely well, don't you? Got a tent up that quickly, what do you say? Very good. We're going to get them all back in in a minute to talk about tents and what to do with them, what sort of thing to buy. There's been loads of frenetic activity outside. Shall we uh, bring back on Clive Tully and the uh, girl guides? All squash in there. What's it? It's supposed to call the guides, not um, cool guys. Uh, these are the whole green guides, by the way. Thank you very much for taking part in that test. Um, they did very well, didn't they? I think they all did fantastically well, especially considering the wind was the kind of stuff that's taking roof tiles off somewhere, no doubt. These are excuses because you, you failed with yours, isn't it? <laughs> well, all right, I'm making this. <laughs> Anyone can get things wrong, you know. Yes, absolutely. Well, I suppose that's one of the tips, isn't it? Check, put your tent up before you go Check to make it sure first. it all works. Absolutely. All right, what, what are we looking for for a family tent? What's the, what sort of thing's ideal? Um, I guess the, the ideal thing for a family tent, if you want a sort of largish frame tent, something with maybe one or two inner tents, little bedrooms, um, but really something that's easy to put up. Easy to put up, that's the key. Easy to put up, yeah. and um, preferably one that's, that's not too heavyweight. Okay, how much? Probably a decent one, uh, maybe 400 pounds. For something like the lightweight models that we had outside, you could be looking at a bit less than that. All right, let's go through a few tips for making camping easier. And one of the ones that I'm particularly interested in, because when I went camping down the south of France, I, um, I bent all my tent pegs and couldn't put the thing up because I, I, the ground was so hard. Now, that's something you don't often come across. That's right, it? because usually most tents come with the standard alloy pegs, and, of course, they just do that when you stick them in that's, the ground. It's just like Uri Geller Uri for a Geller. second. Look at that, minute. Hardly saw it. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's what my, all my tent pegs look like. So um, that's a bit of a worry, isn't it? So how do we get around that problem, then? Well, the ideal is to take several different kinds of pegs with you. This one is a non-bendy one. I dare you to try and bend that. No, that I'll take your word that. for that. That's, um, it's, but that's a six-inch nail with a that's crossbar, isn't it? just about. Well, in fact, you could, you could do it with a six-inch nail. In fact, I've taken six-inch nails to hammer tents into the ground in Iceland, where it really is hard. I think that's where you and I separate in camping. I'm me south of France, you Iceland. I think that's, you're, you're welcome to Iceland, <laughs> I think. What other bits and pieces do you need to take along to make sure that you're, you're safe? Um, 
Well, I suppose that the good old repair kit, something like this, um, just this bit is just a few patches of fabric and some glue. This stuff, gaffer tape, which the electricians use, right. but it's, it's brilliant um, for the kind of repairs. A few extra... Pegging loops, this might be the kind of thing, when you're looking at a tent, if you've already used it once for a season, you've worn a few things out, these things do need replacing. Right. I understand this little, st this little thing of... Um, well, I don't do the name, but anyway, it's, um, you can spray it on your tent and it keeps mozzies away, is that right? Well, not only does it keep them away, it actually kills the little blighters. So it's like the kind of stuff they impregnate mosquito nets with. OK, well, look, thank you very much for taking us through that and thank you very much to the Hall Green Guides, ladies and gentlemen, and Clive Tully. Do you fancy yourself as the intrepid sort who wants to go on holiday solo but you're worried about travelling on your own safely and missing out with the social world? Well, give us a call and fly again with us soon on Great Escape Airways. Bye-bye. Next on BBC One, a team of expert decorators give a bathroom a makeover on a budget in real rooms.